Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use Mathematica to run your first Mathematica command. Also, in this video I will show you how to create a new document and a new notebook inside which we are going to run our Mathematica command. So first thing, when you open Mathematica 11 and onwards, then you will find dialog box that appears something like this. So this is like a splash screen that will appear every time you open Mathematica. Okay, now when you want to run command, first thing you need is a document. Now Mathematica offers you that option, new document right here. So simply select from your menu. Here you have notebook option, template notebook, testing notebook, demonstration, then style notebook, text file and package. Out of which when you want to execute your simple Mathematica commands then you should choose notebook. Once you do that the dialog box that we just used will vanish and you will find this notebook right here okay so this is the first notebook that you will have now here you can see at the top you have the cursor okay now this cursor will load and show you the command that you are entering and after you enter that you have to use shift enter to execute that command okay so let's start with something simple now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply use keyword pi. Okay. And then I'm going to multiply it with some number. Let's say I'm going to multiply it with 4. And if you want to be even more creative, you can raise the power of 4 by 2. And then in order to execute this command, we make use of shift enter command and then you will see the output right here saying out and here you see 16 pi okay now you can show the suggestion bar that will show you suggestion regarding this output okay now here in this suggestion you can choose a generic number instead of this pi as an angle okay so simply choose this generic number and then again you can execute with 16 pi formula let me just change this and you can go with 4 ways to do okay uh, it is assuming that adds angle if we use as number simply output the numeric value and it will use this additional command that shows n and inside the bracket we use this 16 pi and it gives you this number for our formula okay so to go through that you have to enable this suggestion bar and choose number over there and then choose the numeric output okay you can go back to this radian as well if you want using this suggestion bar okay so in this video what we have learned so far is how to input command in a notebook such as this and how to make use of suggestion bar inside our notebook and to get both numeric or angle related output from our formulas. So this was a short video on how to run Mathematica commands inside Mathematica notebook.